Yo, welcome to another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP. In the day, man, this show is pretty wild. It's getting crazier and crazier by the minute. Um, when you come across the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you turn your post notifications on. So you know every time Simply Ball Dropping drops another hot banger, please share the video out. And if this is your first time coming across the platform, please hit the subscribe button. On this channel, we cover sports, high topics, roundtable talking, and marriage chronicles. I see everybody in the comment section. Hashtag salute. And you know what my mantra is. Tell a friend to tell a friend. It might not be for you, but it might be for them. Well, let's get right off into it, man. Um, Dwight Howard is major headlines in, in the news. Um, he's taken over the spotlight from Deion Sanders. Right now, Dwight Howard is headline news, and it's getting worse and worse for Dwight Howard. And he's not making it no better. Um, recently, he sat down and did an interview on a podcast, and the guy was just asking him a simple question. Um, because it was a hot topic. He asked Dwight straight out, are you gay? And Dwight Howard's response was, "Is that that's why I'm here? Uh, that's what you want to ask me? He, could, he didn't answer the question. And like I said, I mean, if you're not gay, just, you know, put the fire out, man. Just answer the question. Say no if, it's, if you're not gay. But why are you not answering the question? So now it's... It's getting worse. It's getting, I mean, it's more people coming to the forefront with these allegations against Dwight Howard. Um, you guys, y'all been talking about that video that was surfacing around um, when he played for the Houston Rockets when he was going to the bench and he just went and grabbed, you know, the players' um, private parts. Um, if you guys do the research on that, that was Isaiah Cannon. And Isaiah Cannon hasn't spoke out on it yet because it's probably some particulars on that where, you know, you can't speak out on it. But the player was Isaiah Cannon. He used to play for the Houston Rockets back in 2012 and 2013. Um, then, you know, like I said on that podcast, Dwight Howard did not put the fire out. He got pissed off and got after the interviewer. You know what I'm saying? He was pissed off. But now it seems like we got some shocking, you know, audio from Stephen Harper um, about these allegations and, you know, what they was going to bring forth on Dwight Howard. So let's listen to, you know, the little audio clip from Stephen Harper. It's recording. DMs. The damn DM. Y'all so focused on goddamn DMs. The only reason, and another thing, the only reason why I uploaded that DM with, with, with us was because the guy told me if I spoke, he would say that he thought that I was a woman or that I tried to catfish him as a woman. And I uploaded that DM to prove that I asked him because after, this was after I found out about him with the, with the transgender sex parties. I said, does your, because he was, the girl, the, what, what I seen, what I seen, I'm not even going to speak on that. Allegedly, 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 what I seen. You out here living your best life. So I asked, I said, you know, I DM'd him. I said, does your brother, your family know? I didn't know how close he was with his family at that at that time. You know, I never we never talked about that. And I asked him, like, does your family know that you like date, you know, transgenders and um, you know, gay men? You know, it was just something that I wanted to know. You know, like I feel like that's when you're getting to know somebody because it that right there shows you that if you would ever be in a public relationship with them or if they would ever show you off or if they'll ever take you serious or with them, like you feel what I'm saying? Like I was trying to fill fill him out, like fill him how he felt. And his response was, I don't have an answer for you. Like, so that's the only reason why I uploaded that because his his team argued with me and said if you don't give me what you have and you try to say anything about the situation about them make sure about them cursing me and stuff like because that's why i said i was going to go to the media because something happened i'm not going to speak on that and then after that happened they started to to, to to offend me and curse me and threaten me and i said okay well yeah 
I'm going to go to the media. Then something else happened. Make sure because I don't want you guys to say that my story is changing, but I'm not telling you guys everything because I already know their plan because they've said that over the phone to scare me. So every tactic, I'm going to come back. This is how I'm going to be. You get, you get it. You get it. You get it. That's it, you know? You're so f***ing lying at You're white, okay? Wow. The audio reveals that, you know, that person, Stephen Harper, is a transgender. And the White Howard was messing with that particular person and the person that brought the charges, you know, forth. But it gets crazier than that. Now y'all know ex-WNBA star Taya Cooper used to play for the Los Angeles Sparks. You know, she was, you know, dating Dwight Howard back in 2021. Um, I don't know if it was an engagement or what, but she was sporting a, a nice, healthy piece of jewelry on her ring finger. And she participated in the bubble with the Los Angeles Sparks. And at that time, the Lakers was down there in the bubble as well, preparing for their championship run. And they captured the championship down in the bubble. And Chris Haynes from Yahoo Sports had a sit down with Taya Cooper. And the interview was her journey to the WNBA and how she got down to the bubble. So let's take a listen to what Chris Haynes and Taya Cooper was talking about. Take a listen. All right, I have the pleasure of sitting down with someone who just finished their rookie year in the WNBA, Taya Cooper, point guard for the Los Angeles Sparks. Taya, man, thank you for coming coming here. I have to say, I have to say, you, you're a little distracting right here because there's a lot of bling going on here, but especially on that, that, finger, that finger right there. A lot, lot going on right here. Well, where, 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 where did that come from? To explain, what, what's that all about? Um, it's an engagement ring. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, that's it. Well, it's just an engagement ring. Okay. Yeah. So, Taya, you, you're here. You're here in this bubble. You just finished. You're, you're probably the only person that's been in both bubbles. Yeah. You're a bubble there and this bubble here. Yeah. What, so obviously everybody probably know uh, Dwight yeah. Howard, fiance. Uh, you and you came here for Dwight. How long have you been here uh, thus far? Um, I had to. I went from my bubble to home, and then I came because I had to take my stuff back. Um, I had to quarantine for a few days, and then so I've been here for about. I don't even know. You know when you're in the bubble, you, the days hey, just go by. Believe me, I've been here since June 29th. So oh, for I, real? Yeah, so I understand what you're talking about. Yeah, see, I don't even know how. There you have it. That was from Taya Cooper, the interview that Chris Haynes had with her down in the bubble. Now, you know, they was down in the bubble in June of 2021. And these allegations against Dwight Howard came out in 2021 now, if you guys notice right after the lakers championship y'all did see taya cooper celebrating with dwight howard after the championship inside the bubble but shortly after that there was no more posts from taya cooper involving dwight howard it seems like the steam left and everybody was questioning, like, what happened to Dwight and Taya Cooper? Nobody knew. And then all of a sudden, you're seeing Taya Cooper during the football season down in New Orleans posting things with Alvin Kamara. So it all makes sense. So I think Taya Cooper got wind of what the hell was going on with Dwight Howard and all these allegations coming out against him that she up and left that man. And rightfully so, she got out. And, you know, nobody really knew the reason why they split apart. A lot of people asking her on her lives, like, where's Dwight? She never even made mention to it because it was times, you know, during that bubble, you know, things like that, that Taya Cooper would go live with Dwight's kids. And then all of a sudden that stuff just stopped. So it all makes sense. It's all coming together. 2021, when the allegations was 
brought forth from on Dwight Howard, Taya Cooper got out. She got wind of what was going on and was like, oh man, I, I'm involved with the wrong person. So I had to get out. And now people are, you know, going on Taya um, Cooper's Twitter, asking her questions. And on October 25th, Taya Cooper responded. This is what she said. She posted on there, never in my life been married or engaged. But the interview says she had an engagement ring on. A lot of people have an engagement ring on that their significant other gave them. But does it really mean that they're fully engaged? It might be, you know, a ring to show, hey, we're engaged. But was that engagement set forth that they was going to get married? But that's what Tia Cooper posted on her Twitter. So, you know, Taya Cooper got out of that relationship and a lot of people didn't know why. Things are just getting uglier and uglier for Dwight Howard. Then she posted yesterday that Kiki Palmer meme, that Kiki Palmer meme, like I don't even know that man. Like I wouldn't even know that man if he walked down the street. So, things are getting ugly for Dwight and Dwight Howard is not putting the fire out. So you guys let me know what y'all think in the comments of the situation. Um, keep sharing the video. Keep giving videos likes. Uh, keep supporting the channel. And that's going to wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Deuces. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major platforms. Another one.